Finland has so much water and so many really big rivers, there's actually nobody in Finland that offers any type of internationally accepted or structured river rescue training and so many Finnish people during the summertime they spend time on the water they go on their holidays kayaking and they travel around and they don't really have any training around what to do if they have an emergency or they have a problem so the people can attend a Lappinkoski Kolu course where it be an international rafting federation course where they will learn about how to skip their own boat and get an international qualification or they can come and do a river rescue course where they can really look in depth into river rescue and how to help their friends when they have a problem on the river and also how to help members of the public if an emergency or a flood situation should occur. So really the courses were set up to give the Finnish people access to structured river rescue training that is a standard around the rest of the world. One of the main challenges that we have for Lapin Koskikulu is that we are taking people into an environment that is not their everyday environment and we're pushing their comfort zones quite a lot so in order to do this we have to make sure that everything is safe for them all of the time. One of the other challenges I have when I'm offering these courses around the world is there is more often than not a language barrier so I have to make sure that my own communication skills get through to the people on the courses and that I can also understand the needs and the demands of the people on my trips. Once we have the communication set up and all the communication lines are clear, my job then becomes very easy and safety can really be enhanced. This can allow us to, if the guests would like or the participants on the course, if they would really like to push their comfort zone to find out where the limits of their comfort zone is, that's really good for me. Often when we're on these river trips doing these courses, we're actually in quite outstanding areas of beauty. And sometimes you can take a, a step back and realize the environment that you're in. This year I was running a course in Morocco in the Atlas Mountains and uh, it was the end of the course and I still had around two hours of teaching to do but we were in this amazing canyon. I just had to stop teaching and we all just stopped as a group and we just sat for 10 minutes in the boat bobbing around on the water just in awe of this stunning canyon and this stunning gorge that we were in. It really brought the course together and it enriched the experience of being on the course. The course that we're going to be running over the next three days based up here in Uberskula is going to be a white water rescue technician. This course is aimed at people with existing white water experience. So it might be fishermen, kayakers, rafters, people who spend their time around a river. And during the three days, we're going to look at a few key areas. We're going to look at our own safety and the principles around keeping ourselves safe when we're on the water and also keeping ourselves safe when we're involved in doing a rescue. We're going to teach a few principles on how to move around shallow water. We're going to be swimming in the moving water, rescuing people in the moving water and then generally learning lots of new skills and by the time it gets to Sunday afternoon we'll do some live scenarios where people that are attending the course can put these skills to test. At the end of the course they'll get an internationally recognized certificate and then they'll be able to hopefully keep themselves a lot safer when they're on the river. Lapin Koskikolo is based here in Finland and because of the geographic position of Finland, Lapin Koskikolo is also the world's northernmost provider of Rescue 3 courses, which is really good for Finland. So there's nobody else in the world that offers Rescue 3 courses as far north as Lapin Koskikolo. So that's a really good thing for us. 
the moment, Lapping Cosicolo is just a small business. It's just myself and Mia trying to build the business. We're creating more and more awareness of the need for water rescue courses. As the business grows in time to come, I would like to be able to offer rescue courses to the fire and rescue services, the border guards, the ambulance, and then not just offer courses based around white water, but to offer courses based around rescue from heights and also rescue from frozen lakes and rivers. And then in 10 or 15 years down the line, I would like to have a business that can operate 365 days a year with a team of dedicated Finnish personnel who can help train everybody around Finland in water awareness and water rescue.